Hello everybody. Um, today we're going to be discussing um, understanding risk position sizes that are based on your actual account balance and stop loss position. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about a stop loss and a take profit. Well, it controls your risk reward ratio. You know your maximum risk. No need to be in front of your computer the whole time. And I mean always use a stop loss. Always, always, always use a stop loss. Once you set your stop loss, don't change it. When I say don't change it, I mean don't make the stop loss so that you're risking more. You are allowed to move your stop loss when you're trailing a profit. So you're locking in a profit and you're reducing your risk. That's okay, but don't move your stop loss and increase your risk. Never ever do that. And a take profit, a take profit you can adjust. You can adjust it, but don't do it emotionally. It must be supported by logic. So a reason might be when you initially set your stop loss, your, your take profit, you see that, well, the market is losing a bit of steam. You do have a nice profit. Um, it's a Friday night or it's going into a quieter session and you don't want to um, risk what profit you have on the table. So you decide to close the trade and take the profit. Other methods are obviously using a um, trailing stop loss. Okay, let's go to the next slide. It's lagging a little bit, so I'm going to do it like this. So, one thing we need to understand very carefully is what's considered a good return. People ask all the time, well, how much can I make out of trading Forex? Now, anything between a 2% and 5% return on your account balance, not your leveraged account balance, but your actual account balance, um, is really good because remember that compounds so if we have a look here let's say you started with an account balance of 1000 Rand and you managed to have an average return of 4% per month in the first month you would go to 1040 Rand 1081 Rand and by month 24 2563 Rand you've more than doubled your money in two years now the, the concept around this is you need to think of it as, well, trading is a business. What business can you invest 1,000 Rand into and more than double your money in two years? Not very many businesses. In fact, most businesses cost a lot more to start. Now, the beautiful thing about trading is once you develop the confidence on a 1,000 Rand account, it's no different when you have a 10,000 Rand account. Although sometimes your mentality may change, if you stick to the same principles that you did with the 1,000 Rand account on a 10,000 Rand account or 200,000 Rand account, you'll see that you can actually scale your efforts and start making money. So it's not a get rich quick scheme and the money increases as your account balance increases. Um, you know, where you see people starting with a thousand and having 10,000 at the end of the month, um, that's unsustainable. That's gambling because it means their position sizes are far, far, far too big. And sooner or later, they're going to lose everything. And this is why. So this here is my, um, my account. Um, well, w the main account that I trade with. Um, it's now being moved over to the copy trade account since it's been approved by hot forex um, But I want to show you this data um, Let me just click play here so that the screen is a bit bigger. Sorry. It does take a little bit of time It is downloading my slideshow from the internet Okay, cool so Before you realize that your system is doing well, you need to look at your profit and loss after a hundred trades Right? 100 trades of sticking to your rules. That will give you a 70% confidence in your trading methodology. Once you reach 400 trades, 500 trades, 600 trades, you can even be more confident in your system. So this particular system has a 54% win rate. That's longs and shorts inclusive. Right? But 
We only risk between 0.5% and 2% of our capital. When I say your capital, I mean your funded account balance, not your leveraged account balance. Okay, so if you start an account with 1,000 Rand, you can only lose 2% of that, which is 20 Rand in a trade. That's it. You can't lose more than that. But some people look at it as their leveraged account balance. Now, a thousand rand account can quite easily be a hundred thousand rand leveraged account. Well, you you can't be losing uh, two percent of a hundred thousand rand leveraged account because that's your whole balance that you funded the account with, and you've blown the account in one trade. It doesn't work like that. That you have to always do your analysis on your funded balance not on your leveraged balance and a lot of people have been asking questions about leverage and how it works and what is the best leverage to start with my answer to you is it doesn't matter what leverage you start with using leverage it's not designed um, if you use it properly you shouldn't use it to increase your risk because your positions are always based on your financed account balance not the leveraged one Okay, so if you risk 2% per trade, you literally would need to lose 34 trades in a row to halve your account balance, right? Now, this is really important to understand. Again, like any business, the numbers are very, very, very important to understand. My account has had over 400 trades. We have here, I think it's 400 and... 428 trades and if we look here we can see that there was 36 occurrences where we lost one trade and 40 occurrences where we lo where we won one trade uh, we had two 12 occurrences where we won two trades in a row so win-win and 23 occurrences where we lost two trades in a row lose-lose now I'm not so phased about these small numbers it's the bigger numbers that we need to look at. So our worst losing streak, we lost 12 trades in a row. We had one occurrence where we lost 12 trades in a row. But it did nothing to my account balance because I'm only risking between 0.5 and 2% a trade. Okay, and sometimes we even close those trades earlier before it hits that stop loss. We never move the stop loss to take on more risk but we might exit it uh, before it gets to the stop loss if things aren't looking good. But we never, ever, ever, ever lose more than the set risk um, that we've decided for that trade. Now, how many of you could say with your account balances and the positions that you're taking on that if you lost 12 trades in a row, would your account still be healthy? Would you blow your account? Or would you definitely be there to continue trading successfully? Because on the flip side, we've had 17 wins in a row. We had one occurrence where we had 17 wins in a row. Now, if the 12 losses in a row damaged our account so significantly that we never got to experience the 17 wins in a row, because there's in statistics something called variance. And this is what happens in accounts. It doesn't matter what system you have. There is no 100% system. The, the, a good system is between 50 and 60% win rate. That is a good, good system. But it's the money management side of things that makes your account grow. It's the way you manage your risk is what ma makes your account grow. Um, this is, to me, is the most important subject in trading is to manage your risk and to understand how you manage your risk. Okay, so... Let's go on to uh, the, the next part regarding risk. What I've got for you here is I've got a trading calculator that I use. I'm going to open it up and we're going to have a look. So the way we set our stop losses is based on the average true range of the instrument that we're trading. So let me just shoot across uh, to um, uh, MetaTrader quickly, and we'll come back to this page. 
Okay, so let's have a look at, okay, for argument's sake, say, say the Euro USD. Um, let me just make sure we've got the right MetaTrader. There we go. Euro USD. Perfect. Okay, so if I'm trading the hourly charts, the average true range represents the average range of each candle in that period for the last however many candles we would like to choose. We typically choose 14 candles, um, which is 14 time frames within the period that we, or periods within the time frame that we're looking at. So you can see that there's lows and highs. There's and they, they're quite significant at the moment in this range. That's because there was a fair bit of volatility going on. The market couldn't really decide, does it want to go up? Does it want to go down? Um, there was a lot of things that happened last week in the world that um, you know people thought, okay, the US dollar's going down. No, no, the Euro's going down. And, and that uncertainty created this level of volatility. So our average true range at this point in time is much higher than the average true range in this period of time where the range of the candles is smaller. So this actually dictates our position sizing. So let's take a look at it. Um, okay, we're on the hourly chart. Uh, the ATR at the moment is 14.3 pips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across to our trading calculator, right? Um, We're going to go across to our trading calculator. Let me turn it on for you so you can see. Okay, cool. So firstly, let's say how big our account is. Okay, my account is $5,000. One, two, three. Okay, how much am I willing to risk? I'm willing to risk 1% of my account on a trade. And the ATR in pips. The ATR we said was 14.3 pips. This is 26 pips. So let's put here 14.3. And we typically like to trade with a stop loss of two times the average true range. Um, and the reason we say that is, well, if the price moves more than two times what the average range is in the opposite direction to our trade, maybe it's lost the steam that it needs to, to continue in the direction that we wanted it to go. Um, maybe now the opposition is winning. Um, so that would mean if we were in a long position, it would mean that the sellers are now winning and it's gone past the average range for the candle. Uh, it's normal movement. It's surpassed that and it's going in the opposite direction and possibly our trade is wrong. So let's get out. So we're going to use two times. All right. At what price are we going to enter? Well, if we shoot back to MetaTrader quickly, let's have a look so we can do this real time so you can actually see um, what's how it works okay so let's go back to MetaTrader and you can see that let's just say that our entry was at uh, 112163 okay um, we'll do that one trade once 112163 let's shoot back to the calculator okay 112163 perfect all right let me just put this on zero so you can see. Okay, so this is the Forex square here. This here is the Forex square. We have it for gold. We have it for silver. We have it for the VIX. We have it for US oil, platinum, the metals, um, and some commodities. Um, but let's just focus on Forex. Let's do one thing at a time. Um, okay, Euro USD. We're saying we want to do a long entry at 112.163. Enter. There we go. The size that we can trade with our account is $19,608. Uh, with the leverage we have on our account, that means that we can trade 0 0.2 lots maximum. 0 0.2 lots. That's two mini lots, right? I've got an account of 5,000 US dollars and I'm trading two mini lots. I see guys with accounts of 5,000 Rand, 4,000 Rand, 2,000 Rand, you know, like not even a 300 US dollar account, and they're trading one standard unit, five times bigger than I would trade with a $5,000 account. And that's why they blow accounts. 
because when they win, they win big. But when they lose, they lose everything. Um, so I'm. this tells me I must trade at a 0 0.2 lot, so two micro lots. My stop loss will be at 1.1188 and my maximum loss I'll lose is $50. Now look what happens as soon as I change my stop loss to a further position. So let's make it three times the average true range. Okay, look what happens. My position size goes down. I'm not trading too many lots anymore. I'm only trading 0.13 lots, so 1.3 mini lots. That's what I'm trading. My stop loss also went further away. And the most important thing here is my maximum loss is still $50. It's 1% of my account. If I was to change it to 2% of my account, look, I can now trade double the size position, but my maximum loss will be $100. I'll never take a bigger risk than 2% of my account. In fact, I usually trade at 0.5% at 0.5% of my account. 0.5%. Why is it doing that? 0.005. So 0.5% of my account. So I would typically trade more you know, closer to one mini unit, to be fair. So maybe a little bit bigger than this. But you can see that the risk that I'm taking on a trade, and if you watch the previous video, you'll see that I didn't lose more than $59 in a trade, which was just a little bit over 1%. Uh, and that was my, my worst trade. Um, I never ever would allow myself to lose more than that in a single trade. And that's purely because I know that there is a possibility that you can lose 12 times in a row um, and we need to be able to continue to keep trading even when you have those bad weeks or bad days of trading. Um, you need to be able to stay in the game and this position sizing is what it's all about. So let's give you a quick example. Um, it doesn't really matter whether your account's in US dollars or rands, but um, uh, let's. this is saying we have a $100, a $100 account size. So what's that? 1,700 Rand. And we want to go long. You could trade, right? Let's put it at back to two. You could trade 0 0.004 lots. I believe that's four nano lots. So you need a micro account. You need to be trading on a micro account. And the maximum loss you should have per trade is $1. So let's say you have a 1,000 Rand account. You shouldn't be losing more than 10 Rand a trade, maximum 20 Rand a trade. If you're losing more than that on a trade, you haven't got the right position size for your account balance for the stop loss that you would like to do. Because look, as we move the stop loss further away, the size comes down. The position that you take gets smaller. As the stop loss is closer to your entry, the position size gets bigger. Don't put the stop loss too close because, um, you know, just with natural movement, you might get stop, stopped out and uh, you were actually correct and you would have made money. So at least two times the average true range, two to 2.5 times. This gives you a good idea. Now you might say, well, what happens if I wanted to go short? What happens if I want to go short? I don't want to go long. Okay, so 1.12163. Delete. There we go. The stop loss adjusts accordingly, but do you see that the position size stays the same? Um, so this trading calculator is something that I use on a regular basis. It's automatically programmed um, in um, for for my account in in MetaTrader 4. Um, and if you guys are part of the Copy Trade system, well, we've literally just started it. Um, Hot Forex will do it for you automatically. So if my account is say $5,000 and your account is $5,000, your account will mirror exactly what my account does. If your account size is half of my account size, well, it will mirror what my account does, but at half the value. So it proportions it accordingly to how big your account is. Um, so because I manage my risk well, you will automatically manage yours well. If it's something you want to do on your own, um, this trade position calculator can help you significantly. Um, we do give our resources uh, for free to people 
um, who have signed up to Hot Forex with a live account using our affiliate link. Um, the way that works is uh, Hot Forex does reward us for people that sign up through our affiliate link and it makes it worthwhile to share our resources for free. Um, for people who don't, who have their own brokers, who don't want to sign up to Hot Forex, we do have subscription fees um, for, for our resources and uh, educational information and things like that. But this video is at no charge. I wanted to show it to you. Um, I have been seeing on Facebook and a lot of places people asking about position sizing and leverage and everything like that. And that just brings me to my final point is, do you notice that nowhere in here, in this calculator, do we ever look at your leveraged position size? We put in our account size. This is your funded account size. It doesn't matter if your account is a 1 to 100, a 1 to 500, a 1 to 1,000. It doesn't matter. You're still only allowed to lose 0.5 to 2% of your funded account balance. And that's where your max loss is. Um, and that determines how big of a position size you can take. Um, so leverage is there to allow you to trade multiple instruments and diversify your trading account. It's not there for you to make your position size bigger because it's available. Um, I know it's tempting. A lot of people fall into the trap and that's why there's a lot of blown accounts out there, guys. All right, happy trading. I hope this was of value to you. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Thank you.